Just last week, the New Jersey Attorney General took another step to undercut how individual sheriffs are working directly with ICE. We have two partners in our 287G program in New Jersey, where we have designated and trained local jail officers who work under ICE supervision to identify criminal aliens in their custody. These partnerships are vital to our success. They give ICE the operational flexibility to use resources that would otherwise be assigned to those jails and to be redeployed to target dangerous, at-large criminal aliens, many from neighboring jurisdictions who fail to provide such cooperation. These sheriffs in Monmouth and Cape May counties, elected by their constituents to perform their duties in a manner that reflected their desires, had established a great working relationship with ICE. But the state attorney general thinks he knows better what's for those communities than the people within them. I don't understand how an attorney general, the chief law enforcement officer of the state, tells other law enforcement officers under his command to ignore the law. Perhaps he made a few friends in the state house and the governor's office, but he surely did nothing to put the citizens of New Jersey at greater risk. Excuse me, he surely did nothing but put the citizens of New Jersey at greater risk.